what's going on guys my name's Sean if you landed here you're watching scar my guitar I'm thinking I got a pretty good one for you today you see a while back I went on a rant about how I hate cheap guitars yeah you know what I'm talking about those crap guitars they call budget yeah I haven't seen one yet that didn't need extensive work to make play correctly all of them have cheap tuners on them that won't stay in tune the crap starts at the headstock and ends around the tone knob <laughs> I must have touched a nerve with that video because today when I got home, I found this on the front porch. I promise you I don't know what's in that box yet, but we finna find out. I was told it would change my mind about the budget-friendly guitar for the rest of my life. Now this guitar was sent to me for free, and the agreement is I can say whatever I want, good or bad. I don't think they're ready for this because I come from the scarred nation. See, most guys are going to pick over the finish. They're going to sit here and go, oh, it's got this little thing in the finish. Not me. I want to see it have some good action so it can play good and I want it to sound good. And you already know, most importantly, it's got to stay in tune. And that's all I need because if it spends any time with me, I'm going to beat it up anyway. But I'm sure you want to see what's in that box and I do too. That's going to be enough flip flapping. Let's make it happen. All right, I got my razor blade. Let's get to it. It does have a big hole in the box back here. I don't know if you can see that right there. All right, let's flip it back over and pop him open. Voila! <laughs> devil box. How about that? $139, and this guy's devil box. You know how much it cost me to do a box? Like $10 a box, $12 a box for me to ship a guitar. Let's see what's up. Huh? It's in a gig bag, too. Look at that. It's in a gig bag. It did not say it was coming with a gig bag. Let's get this zipper open here. I'm gonna lay him straight down, crack him open. It's just straight inside the case though. Ooh, look at that, dude. What? Now before we go any further, talking about anything else on this guitar, looking at it anymore, this thing was $139. Look at that. Holy mo. It's got a flame maple neck. Look. It's literally flame maple. Look at that headstock. <laughs> it said it had a mahogany body. I don't know if you can see that green. But you can sure see me. That looks like mahogany to me. You know, that might be a picture of a veneer. Might not be a real veneer. I don't know until we open it up. Then I'll be able to tell maybe. Is that binding on the side of this thing? It does. It has binding. What the? Wake up, dummy. You must be dreaming. Okay. Yeah, I'm tripping for real. Now I got my old pick. I want to see if it's in tune before we go doing anything to it. Nah, it's not. Not far out though. Let's crack it open. Now before we take anything off this or do anything to it, let's just throw a straight edge on it. Looks good, man. It's nice and straight. Could probably use a little relief actually. Yeah, I'd have to say first impressions. He's pretty dope, but let's get up under the hood. Now I'm going to try to avoid wasting the strings on this guitar. They are brand new. And from all appearances, they're D'Addario. So what we need to do is take the neck off, leave the strings on it in the bridge, and then we could just take it apart from there and check it out. I'm going to loosen these just a little bit. Just to relieve the neck tension some. Not too much, just a little bit. I'm also going to lay it down flat before I do it. Those came out pretty clean. 
Let's see what's underneath there. Ah. There's that dreaded hole in the middle of the neck pocket. Now, why would they do that? They do that so they have somewhere to hang it up at that's not going to really matter when they're finishing it. That's what these Chinese do. I think that could cause structural problems later. Let's pull it out of here nice and slow. Ah, oh, it is shimmed. Look at what we have found in the neck pocket. I hate it has these shims in there. There's also finish on the neck pocket itself. I don't know if that affects tone or not, but I don't like it. And I know how to fix it. We're not going to do it in this video, but maybe soon. Now, you know I want to see what kind of fret work you get for $139 delivered to your door, devil boxed with flame everywhere. You got to be kidding me. Dude, there is no rock on this neck anywhere. Now, they told me they were going to change my mind about the way I felt about budget guitars for the rest of my life. Well, sorry to say this didn't do it. And the reason for it is, is because it just lets me know that this brand right here does a little more attention to detail. They care more about the woods they use. Stuff like that. Doesn't All the rest of the guitars still aren't up to par with this. Alright, let's take the bridge off. I'm going to loosen the screws first with a screwdriver to keep the drill from doing any slipping. Alright, I got the screws out the bridge. Let's pull it up and look. Wow. That is real mahogany body. Definitely. Nothing special for pickups though. That's for certain. Now I've messed around with a couple of these clear pick guards. And if you're not careful with those screws, you'll crack it real easy. So we already know what's underneath there. With that pickup is nothing special. So there's no reason to try to take that off and risk cracking it. We'll move right along to the control cavity, even though, like I said, we know for a fact that it's some cheap stuff under there. All right, let's see what we got. Standard Chinese stuff. Now, if you buy this guitar, even if I didn't show this to you, you already knew that was under there. Now, I'm looking. That's definitely mahogany body, but I can't tell how thick that veneer is or if it's a picture or whatever. All good though, let's put it back together. So here we are. It's all tuned up, man. It's pretty cool guitar, I gotta say. Boy, it's nice and shiny, ain't it? <laughs> I mean, if looks could kill, this thing's a 100% monster. So what did we learn in this video about this guitar? Number one, it does have some killer woods. It came out of the box with the fretwork nice and pretty. It was almost in tune, and somebody had set it up because it was intonated correctly. It's got a few things going on with the neck pocket I personally don't care for. Some of you guys are probably going to say that's no big deal to you. It's obviously not affecting this guitar. Now I got my favorite pick. This guy is on. I just need to turn him up. I must be hearing things. You hear this guitar? It's $139.
nice and clean in the middle. Little bread and butter chords. She's nice and honky. <laughs> My favorite position on the telly is the bridge. Now we're all wondering what it sounds like dirty. Here's something you don't see all the time. When I switch it to the bridge, listen. What is that? Only does it there. Doesn't do it there, only here. tell you straight up this thing plays great man it sounds killer to me I mean it could use some better pickups for sure but it's staying in tune with the tuners that are on it you see what it is honestly the only thing I think that could make this guitar a little better would be a couple of better pickups and some better electronics everything else seems to be fine and even though I don't like the shim in there it's working so why change it well Leo jams I gotta tell you you didn't change my mind about budget guitars at all, but you sure did make me believe in yours. This bad boy is definitely worth the $139 shipped to your door. Now, if you want one of these, there's a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link. I make nothing. And as always, I really appreciate you watching. But until next time, don't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.